In today's video, we are going to solve WASI 2020 Elective Mathematics Paper 2, Question 9A. According to the question, we are to find the integer value of p if p plus 1 x squared plus 4 p x plus 2 p plus 3 is equal to 0 has equal roots. Now, for a quadratic equation to have equal roots, it means that the discriminant d is equal to 0. Now, d is given by b squared minus 4ac, and that's equal to 0 because the equation has equal roots. Now, according to the quadratic equation, a is equal to p plus 1, b is equal to 4p and c is equal to 2p plus 3. Now let's insert the values of a, b and c into this equation. Now we have b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. b is 4p. So we have 4p all squared minus 4a. A is p plus 1. So we have p plus 1. And then c is 2p plus 3. It's equal to 0. 4p squared is 16p squared. And then we have minus 4 into brackets. Now let's multiply this term and then this term. Now p times 2p is 2p squared. 1 times 2p is 2p. p times 3 is 3p. And then 3 times 1 is 3. Now let's try to simplify this expression. So we are going to have 2p squared plus 2p plus 3p is 5p. And then we have 3 is equal to 0. So we are going to have 16p squared minus 4 times 2 is 8. So we have 8p squared. And then 4 times 5p or negative 4 times 5p is 20p. And then negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. So we have 16p squared minus 8p squared minus 20p minus 12 is equal to 0. Now because we have 16p squared and 8p squared, 16 minus 8 is equal to 8. So we have 8p squared minus 20p minus 12 is equal to 0. So we had 8p squared minus 20p minus 12 is equal to 0. So now let's divide through by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 20 divided by 4 is 5. And then 12 divided by 4 is 3. So we have 2p squared minus 5p minus 3 is equal to 0. Now we are going to multiply 2 and negative 3. Now 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And factors of negative 6 are 1 and negative 6. So we can expand the equation to have 2p squared plus p minus 6p minus 3 is equal to 0. Now we can factor out p so that we have 2p plus 1 and then we have negative 3 into brackets 2p plus 1 and that's equal to 0 so we have p minus 3 and then 2p plus 1 is equal to 0 now for the first value of p we have p minus 3 is equal to 0 and then p is equal to 3 and then we also have 2p plus 1 is equal to 0. 
we have 2p is equal to negative 1 and then we have p to be equal to negative 1 over 2 or negative half now we were asked to find the integer value of p now we had p to be equal to 3 and then p to be equal to negative 1 over 2 which of these two numbers is an integer don't forget that integers are positive and negative whole numbers including 0 so p is equal to 3 is an integer hence the integer value of p is equal to 3